Well guys, today is a little bit of a momentous occasion. We are getting rid of something old here at Old Car Auto Sales. So today is the day that the very first sign we ever had for our business comes down. We're getting ready to strap up some chains, hook onto it, take the chainsaw and cut her down. A couple of years ago, we bought this used sign. We put new concrete underground so that we could advertise our business and it lights up at night. And now today, we say goodbye to the very first sign that when we got in business, put us on the map. Well guys, the old sign is down and we were not going to be able to pry that one out by hand. I can't believe that it was buried six feet down in the ground. And you guys have all seen the new sign that we've got here at nighttime. It does light up very well and helps light the lot. We've also got the reader board there to give a little bit of a message. Now, I know I gave a little bit of a lot update here recently, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how busy we've been over these last few days. The three cars that we had lined up here during the lot update, well, they're now gone. At least one of them is. We sold the 2013 Chevy Sonic that you saw earlier in this film sitting in front of the building. The Hyundai Sonata we have moved over to fill a gap over there. And to make up for the busy week that we've had, We've got a few vehicles out back that we bought that we're getting ready for the lot. They're just running through the shop right now. So let's go out and take a look at those. One of them is this 2015 Hyundai Tucson. It's just a front wheel drive GLS model, but it does have the tinted windows. And uh, you know they're a sharp looking vehicle. We have really good luck selling these things. This one is just a four cylinder. So I don't think we're gonna sit on this one very long. We also picked up this 2012 Chevy Cruze LT, 1.4 liter turbo automatic, loaded up really nice and only 115,000 kilometers on this one. And we're gonna get a better picture of this one that Tim's doing an oil change on here right now, but this is a 2016 Ford Taurus Limited. It's got the big 20 inch wheels, it's got the sunroof, it's got the heated and cooled seats. It's got everything you can imagine on one of these cars. So once we get it down, we'll get a closer look at it. Although I told you you would get a better look at this car, I did not specify which day it was going to be. That was Friday, this is Monday. Happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends out there. So let's get a closer look at this 2015 Ford Taurus. Now the first thing you'll notice is those massive 20 inch wheels on this car. Now it does have four Michelins. And I've always said when buying a used car, if you look at what the tires are, it's a general idea of what kind of condition the people kept their car in. So if they're gonna spend the extra money on 20 inch Michelins, they probably looked after the car. This one, I think they did. There's a pretty good indicator that it was owned by maybe a veteran or an older person. They usually have poppies. If you don't know what a poppy is or its symbolization, it, we wear it over our heart until November the 11th uh, in remembrance of those who died uh, in battle. So that is what the poppy is. So yeah, this was probably owned by an elderly person. The car only has 102,000 kilometers, so that's like 60,000 miles and still shows like new. Now, one of the things I tried to find back here was a way to open the trunk uh, without using the remote, and I couldn't find it until it was up in the air, and when it was up in the air, I could see this button from down below when it was on the hoist. 
floor mats look like brand new. Nice big trunk. And a space saver spare. Now let's take a look under the hood. Nice and clean, no surprise there. V6 made it up to an all-wheel drive system. This thing goes like a scared cat. We will be doing a full review and test drive of this car in the near future. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for the new cars that have hit the lot. Um, this weekend, it being the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, we did spend it down at the campground. It's the last weekend down there for doing so. And uh, kind of like I said, bittersweet. It's great to be able to get back into the swing of things and uh, a new routine of being home and all that stuff. But we're gonna miss camping. We have some great friends down there. And uh, you know, when it comes time to leave and pack things up, it's, it's, we're not gonna be back there for almost seven months. So we enjoy all the time that we have. Here's a little clip of closing up today. Well guys, just as a side note, we've got the camper all packed up. We're not taking any chances this year. We got it all tarped. Hopefully no water damage and we've got the kitchen all sealed up. So this concludes another camping season. Time to drag our feet and head home. And folks, the demise of Bubbles videos are gonna be coming more and more quickly. You see, this weekend, approximately five days from now, we are going to be blowing up Project Bubbles, my 2009 Kia Sportage that you see behind me. You guys aren't gonna see that video, unfortunately, until I reach 2,000 subscribers. Just over the weekend, I crested 1,800. I believe I'm around 1,805 or six now. And so it, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We will be getting this thing out, getting that done and recording it. I'll get it all edited so that when we do hit the 2,000 subscriber mark with your help, we'll be able to show the video. So guys, as well, the limited time offer on the Demise of Bubbles t-shirts are available at my Spreadshirt store, which is the first link in the description box below. If you guys want one, go down there now and get one for your very own. Also, you can get your OG Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt as seen now, as well as the Focus on the Windshield tee. Car Guy and Six Fan Show is going to be live on Thursday evening. This week, it's going to be held on Straight Six Fan's channel. His link is the second one down in the description box below. Head on over there, subscribe to him as we alternate each week between my channel and his for that Car Guy and Six Fan Show. What is it? Well, we talk about cars, automotive stuff, automotive news stuff related to our channels and it is a support stream for those who have automotive channels that want to see themselves grow guys as i end every video stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you all god bless let's do it again real soon